What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today I thought I would do a nice update on the Milwaukee socket set. If you haven't seen my original video, uh, you can check it up here in the right, uh, check it out up here in the right hand corner of the screen. Uh, you can go over there. I had uh, done an unboxing of this set, got really excited. Um, it's been 11 months and a couple days now um, since I've owned this set, so I figured I'd do a one year update. Sorry, I'm cheating you out of one more month of owning this set but this is how it's gonna be. So um, this set has been absolutely amazing. Um, I have a couple critiques um, and we'll go over it in detail here. Uh, I'm gonna change camera angles so you can see the set better and we'll talk about it. And uh, I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this set. All right, first things first, uh, what I would like to say about this set is it's absolutely awesome. It does have some improvements that can be made, but for the most part, this set is, is pretty darn good. So uh, one of the things that I always find with um, this kind of plastic that is used is for some reason it gets really dirty and you can't wipe it off. So, um, you know, that that's something that I like to keep my tools nice and uh, clean, but for the most part, this red does not wipe off. It's kind of kind of makes me mad that you can't wipe it clean uh, when you get it dirty. But uh, you know that's just one of those things that I'm picky about the appearance of everything, and I like to be able to wipe it down. Um, so just the material that was used, um, not too shabby, but it just uh, is not cleanable. Now I will say something about this case um, about two weeks into using this, uh, my buddy Dylan, you've seen him on the channel, um, he ran over this case with his F-250 with the tools in it. So he had a bunch of other, he had some other tools laying on the socket set, had it behind the wheel, and literally backed right over it. Um, it did crack the case um, in the hinge area. I uh, hope you can see that on camera, but he did crack the hinge area, but it does not affect the way the, uh, the case opens and closes, which is nice. So it can literally be ran over by a truck and you're not worried about it. So um, the ratchet has proven to be awesome. Uh, we've worn the finish off the, uh, the little th thumb selector. Um, not, not a big deal, does not uh, affect the fit or function in any way. Um, I've put some dents in this handle with a sledgehammer before. So this thing has taken a beating uh, when you're in tight spots and you really need to uh, get that fastener loose. You know, I, I do bang on the hammer or I do bang on the handle with the hammer from time to time. So it has taken a beating and really just kept on going. Um, the four points or the uh, four sided sockets are awesome. Um, I like that the you know, I, I like the fact that you could use a socket on or a, um, a wrench on the socket, but I never have, and I've never found a, a part where I, I need to. Uh, one thing that I do not like is that they've only laser etched the number or the uh, you know the designation of which socket is on two sides of the socket. So sometimes when you lay the socket down in the set, you need to re orient the socket so that you can see the number. Yeah, that's a little nitpicky, but if they would have put it on all sides, you literally could set it down in the tray whichever way you want, and it would be facing the number um, that the socket is. So that's a little nitpicky thing, but I think it would make this set a little easier to use uh, if, if you had a number on all four sides. So I did notice that uh, after a while, uh, some of the laser etching was uh, didn't look so hot, but for the most part, I mean, you know, it's not bad. You can see the numbers; they don't get packed with with grease and dirt. Um, they, they stay fairly clean, and they're easily identifiable. So, um, we've got some of these sockets really dirty and haven't cleaned them out, um, and I'll probably take the parts washer to it um, soon. You know, something like that to clean them up. The extensions are really nice. I like the knurling. The knurling could be a little bit longer and maybe have a crosshatch pattern. So uh, it, it's not too bad on the three inch because you know that, that one inch knurling um, takes up quite a bit of the handle. But when you have something like this, I'd like to see the knurling further down or you know a bigger patch of knurling on this actual extension. So those are kind of nitpicky things, but 
you know, I, I would like to see some updates after using this for a year. Uh, it could be a little bit uh, better, you know, with that knurling. And one thing I will say is we've never even picked up this universal joint. I think that it's just a little too sloppy and a little too loose. Uh, we, I don't even think I've put it on a socket. I certainly have or have not. Um, Dylan might have. Um, but I just don't even use this universal joint. I think it's cheap and I feel like I'll probably break it if I use it um, or bind it up in any certain way. Um, this would definitely be the first thing to break. Um, and it already does look a little um, cattywampus, if you will. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, you know, it's half broken already and I have never even used it. So uh, three little critiques on the set. Not a, not a bad set at all. I figured, uh, you know, a, a one year update is what you guys deserve from the original video. Um, this thing is absolutely awesome. If you're only watching this video, I'll put the part number down at the bottom, but this is 48-22-9508. Uh, and this is the 3 8 metric set. So I'll put it in the description so you know exactly what you're getting into on this video. Um, the, 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 just the one thing that just bothers the heck out of me is these aren't marked on all four sides. So uh, oftentimes when you're working with someone else and we put the tools back, uh, you know, I'm over here spinning the sockets so that I can see exactly which size is which in the tray. Yeah, uh, it, it takes a couple minutes, but I'm all about efficiency and working, um, you know, working with... Uh, the least amount of steps possible and if I can put the socket down in it however it fits you know it's better off that I do that uh, you don't really have to worry about it with these because they go up and down you know they're they're vertically oriented in the tray instead of horizontal like this so you know uh, it's, ju it's just the way these deep sockets sit in here um, I thought from my original video, I thought I was going to have an issue with maybe not having 12 point or 6 point. And I found that, you know, I don't run into very many 12 point sockets at all, what's, or 12 point bolts or uh, bolt heads at all. Um, very few times have I, and I've been able to just go get a socket from the toolbox and take care of it. Um, I thought that that was going to be a real, you know, kind of hitch in this kit, but this kit's been very, very good. Um, these sockets still fit on the bolt, bolt heads perfectly fine. Um, they're great. Um, I highly recommend the ratchet. It's fine toothed, it's tough. The case is awesome. Um, it's definitely a must buy. If you're looking into a kit like this, um, don't hesitate to go out and buy it. Uh, it's absolutely, without a doubt, a 10 out of 10 in durability. Uh, the, the value is definitely there. Yeah, it's still a little bit pricey, uh, but I think that for what you get, it's pretty darn good for the, for the money. Uh, you gotta pony up a few extra bucks compared to you know some offerings from Craftsman, but if you've watched any of my other videos on Craftsman um, and Tecton, I think that this definitely um, takes the takes a cake every single time compared to those cheaper socket sets. So definitely a must buy. Um, that's a great one year review. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. I'm sure if Dylan was here, he'd have some other things to weigh in. Um, but there, it's a, it's, it's a great set and I like it a lot. All right guys, so thank you for stopping by and watching my one year review on this socket set. Um, I hope to see you around the channel. I hope to see you subscribe. If you like that kind of content, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if that's what you're into, whatever. Uh, my focus for the channel is general all around man stuff. Uh, you know, if, if you're into tools, we're here. If you're into uh, nice boots, nice pants, uh, working, around the, working around the house, doing do-it-yourself stuff, little projects, woodworking, car stuff, um, we're, we're just a good all-around channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, I hope to see you around the channel. And as always, those of you who have clicked that subscribe button and part of my notification gang, I'll see you guys in the next video.